Hey everybody, welcome back to Kill by Daylight. Let's talk about this new finishing Mori system that Behavior has just unveiled to us this very day. I it's it's been a while since the community has been a lit a, a blaze over something they have announced. Last time, the only thing that comes to mind last time was the uh, NFTs with Pinhead that we shall not mention. Um. But yeah, a lot of people are uh, up in arms about this, and I know why, I see why, I understand why. Me? I am, uh, not too worried. But we'll get into that. Let's start off by going through the details, right? Um, the upcoming PTB will feature an early version of the new Mor Finishing Mori system. This is something they announced, uh, I believe it was this past anniversary event. It was either the past one or the one a year ago, which I don't believe it was. I think it was this uh, recent one, the sixth anniversary. Um, they announced they were working on, like, uh, you know, retooling the Mori system, the finishing Mori system. They actually announced it both times, I think. Either way, uh, this is the thing they were talking about, right? They're finally unveiling it, showing us the world, what it could be. This next part's important, okay? Unlike most P2Bs, this feature will not be going live in the following update. There's still some work to be done before it's ready to be released, but we wanted to give you an opportunity to try it out and share your thoughts in advance. This is something to keep in mind. Anything I say in this, whether you agree, disagree, have your own opinions. Remember, this isn't happening. They even say it at the, the very bottom. This will not be a part of the 6.3.0 update, which is the next update, which I'm going to throw it out there. Are we gonna get a new chapter preview with this next PTB I've always had the theory like oh the next PTB should be the last week of September if it's going to be a mid-October uh, chapter which they have said in the roadmap that it's going to be well September 27th is the last Tuesday of the month so are we gonna get killer teases from the maybe Scooby-Doo license killer? That's a buck wild conspiracy theory. I love it. Um, this isn't going to be in the next, the, the next patch, 6.3.0. This might not happen for some time, so they're going to take in every criticism, everybody's opinions about it, and work on it until it is actually perfect for the game. So I'm not worried about them just blopping it out there, being like, here it is, oh, shit. It's broken everything, nobody likes it. I think they're gonna really take their time on this because there's a lot of big things in this. So, be respectful, but give them your opinions. And they'll, hopefully, they'd be dumb not to take uh, everybody's criticisms, criticism and opinions and be like, okay, let's fine-tune some stuff, right? Some numbers, maybe some mechanic overhauls, maybe some killer reworks. We'll get into that, right? So we break this down into two parts, the killer side and the survivor side, right? So, Last Standing. Clunky-ass name, but um, it's a working title, probably. Uh, when all of the survivors are dead, dying, hooked, or escaped, you become the last standing. Both you and the killer's senses are heightened, granting you a wider field of view. That's weird. That's... Does that go for both... I would ass Both killer and survivor get a wider field of view? Uh, again, you'll we'll probably have to check out the PTB to be like, oh, this is what it is. Because there's a lot of questions here, and this is not even the biggest one. Um, rescue a survivor will end the last standing phase, but being downed is the final survivor. On the other hand, we'll trigger the finishing Mori. When the last survivor is down, the trial will draw to a climactic end. Both the survivor and the killer will be moved to a preset point on the map, free of any obstructions that may get in the way, and the killer's Mori animation will begin! Any survivors still in the trial will be killed by the entity and treated like a sacrifice. Simple enough, right? If, you're, if you down the last survivor, it'll give you the ideal location for your Mori. Neat, I guess. Any other, like, they mentioned any survivor still in the trial will be killed by the entity and treated like a sacrifice. That kind of puts a dampen, dampening on the archive challenges of, oh, kill four survivors in a single trial. 
not sacrifice, but kill, as in Mori them. Again, little fine-tuning things that probably need to be figured out. Next, Hope is not lost. Contrary to that kick-ass Slipknot album, all hope is lost. With this new system in place, leaving survivors on the ground, aka slugging, may seem more appealing, opening the possibility of ending the match early. Which would be a thing that could happen, but the survivors are not going to give up without a fight. I'll highlight this one real quick, because it's important. After being left on the ground for 45 seconds, survivors will now gain the ability to pick themselves up without the need of any perks or teammates or coordination with friends. This time is affected by recovery speed effects. Let's break this down into two different sections because I have two very big things here. One is a massive, massive, actually two massive questions. After being left on the ground for 45 seconds, is that... Because I... Uh, Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe it takes 45 seconds to fill up that nice little bar when you're downed to, like, seek help, right? For somebody to come give you a quick tap on the butt to get you back up. I don't believe that takes 45 seconds to fill up. So does this mean you have to wait 45 seconds on the ground before you can actually pick yourself up? Is there a timer? It, uh, that's, that's my question, right? That's number one. That's not the biggest one. But this is a pretty decently sized one. Is there a 45 second countdown while you are slugged that needs to elapse before you can pick yourself up? Like you can charge that bar all the way, but once 46 seconds passes, you can pick yourself up. Or can you just, I don't know. It's, it's stuff we'll have to find out when the PTB comes out, right? Number two, survivors will now be able to pick themselves up without the need of any perks. My biggest question here that I hope we get answered, and it's a good answer, is is this a unbreakable pickup? As in, you can only do it once per trial. If you get slugged and pick yourself up without the use of any perks, because there are no self-pickup perks anymore, we'll get into that. Uh, but if you self-pick up and you get slugged again, can you do it again? Do you get one self pick up per match or do you can you do it infinitely like you pick yourself up 46 seconds later you do a gen you fit you help survivors you do other things uh and you get down again you get slugged again can you do a self pick up 46 seconds later again do you get one self pick up or infinite self pickups that is my biggest question because if it's just one per trial then there's some play, there's some interesting dynamics that can be done, like, oh, they slug you, it looks like they're gonna try to end the game. Should I, okay, they've downed me, they've downed my other friend. They're currently chasing the obsession. You can see it because the tentacles are twitching. Uh, they're chasing the uh, obsession, okay. Okay, the obsession just got hit. Let me pick myself up real quick, right? I don't know if it's, you might be playing against a Blight. The Blight gets a hit. Go, oh fuck, I gotta pick myself up now. Pick yourself up, go pick up somebody else. That way that person doesn't have to use their self-pickup, right? Obviously this would be like a swift situation where you and a friend are down because then you just both self-pick up, right? But same thing, right? Same line of thought. Or do you get slugged and you're like, oh, the killer is gonna try to get a 4K slug fest here. Let me self-pick up here. Or maybe I should hold on to it because maybe it's later in the game. There's one gen left and there's only three of us standing on death hooks. Maybe he tries to slug us then for the final Mori. Then I should save it for later. I should use it now. There's that dilemma if it's only once per trial. If it's an infinite self pickup, then shit's out the window and it's not good, right? I think this should be permitted to one time per trial just like... Unbreakable. I think that would be a fair thing because people's big concerns are how this actually breaks slug killers, right? Oni, twins, uh, snowball killers, such like that. Um, I might as well bring it up. Ots tweeted out that this is basically a buff to snowball killers. It's not... A a anything that gives a survivor 
infinite uh, infinite amount of self pickups in 45 seconds or what will actually be 22.5 seconds is not a buff for killers at all it's a buff for survivors that's my take on that one um well let's talk about that one this time is affected by recovery speed effects it shouldn't be it shouldn't be if you're gonna make this balanced it's you can self pick up once per match and it takes 45 seconds you have to be on the ground for 45 seconds right that's what it should be that's what it should be that's not gonna be what it is though because behavior is gonna behavior it right perk updates with both Mori and the ability to pick yourself up being base kit which by the way um left behind is the only bill perk that is not base kit yeah borrow time is base kit and now unbreakable is base kit so left behind the ability to see the aura of the hatch within 32 meters is the only thing that needs to be base kit for a bill to be fucking pointless speaking of fucking pointless the ability to pick yourself up has been removed from unbreakable soul guard no either which is that thing I just said because now you are just left with broken status effect for the entire match and you have tier 3 iron will good for you you wasted a perk slot uh, speaking of that boon exponential boon exponentials entire uh, purpose in life is now nothing it does not need to be a perk good job great uh, but that's removed from everything that part of the perk is now removed from everything so soul guard if you self pick up you will get endurance that's why I'm like if it's one time only you get soul guard once okay that's fine the killer will think twice about going after you maybe but if it's an indefinite self pick up and you get endurance every 22.5 seconds uh maybe some things need to be looked at uh the more ability has been removed from rancor and devour hope um, this is a mistake, I think, but we'll get into that now. In addition, some of the perks will have changes made to the, uh, for the PTB. However, since it's an early game preview, the in-game descriptions have not been updated. These are Unbreakable. Now increases dying self-recovery speed by 80, 90, and 100%. That's where that 22.5 seconds comes from. You're picking yourself up in half the time. So 45 divided by 2, 22.5. Math. Um... This is going to be a mainstay for every build. This and I think Soul Guard will now be really meta if this goes through, right? Without any like tw tweaks, as is on paper right now, Unbreakable and Soul Guard will be meta. I know everybody was like, oh, flip flop and tenacity and uh, that one LED perk that lets you pallet stun the killer while you're on the shoulder is going to be meta. Like, no, 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 it's not. You can do that now. You can run that gimmick shit right now. It's not good. I've run into like one or two survivors since the uh, perk rework that have been running, that have ran, I should say, uh, Tenacity and Unbreakable and Flip Flop. It's a meme build. That's all it is. You want to have fun with it? Go ahead. Go ahead. I've run, I've run, I've run those perks and boil over. Just because I was like, I'm sick and tired of being tunneled out of the game. Let me run boil over. Go to a high spot. They won't want to pick me up. Well, they kind of have to because I'll just pick myself up with Unbreakable. Or if they do, I wiggle out. No problem. It's a meme build. You can do it right now. It's not that problem. The problem is Unbreakable taking 45 seconds to 2.22.5 uh, and you getting endurance every single time bruh that's bad that is bad speaking of bad rancor once all uh, gens are powered the obsessions aura is revealed for five seconds it does that now but they are permanently inflicted with the exposed status effect really there's a number of things they will have to change in terms of challenges in the both archives and daily things because this now is impossible right there is uh, challenges in the archives that is, that are kill the obsession while using rancor not sacrifice 
kill, as in Mori them, with Rancor's ability. Uh, Devour Hope. This is an interesting one, but... Again, it's not the greatest. Once five tokens are earned, any survivor placed on a hook is instantly sacrificed. I've had games where... I haven't seen the goddamn killer all game, but he has hooked two of my friends onto Death Hook, and one of my other teammate once, he smacks my the one teammate, and oh shit, Devour Hope is active. My friend's being morried. Well, shit, this this now goes from off. Oh, all right, I just gotta avoid the killer too. If he downs me, I'm dead without being hooked once. That's not good. That is not good. These two perks should not have been changed. Hell, I, I would say Unbreakable shouldn't have been changed, or at least not increased the self-recovery speed. You can keep it to like, oh, it incre it f you fill up the bar to pick up at 100% speed. That way, oh, you get to that 45 second thing, you can pick yourself up quicker. Whatever. Tenacity is going to do the same thing, but you know. You can now crawl away while doing it. Uh, I don't get these changes. Again, these are not all the perks that they're fixing because, again, Soul Guard needs to be touched. Boon Exponential needs a new power. It needs a complete rework, which I'm terrifying what new boon they're going to add. I'm more terrified of the new boon pro prospects than, fuck, I can't slug anybody. Because, again, I'm not worried about this update because, one, it doesn't affect me. Like, when I play killer, you'll notice I don't slug. I knock you down, I pick you up, I put you on a hook, I go chase somebody else. That's what I do, right? And that comes from me not having fun when I am the slug, right? I don't do things that I do not enjoy in a game. That's why I don't run Noed. I don't like going up against Noed, so I'm not going to use Noed. Because I think there are better options in the game for perk slots. That's just how I play games. So, I don't like being slugged for two and a half minutes just to bleed out because the killer is trying to get a 4K. So, I don't want to slug people. The only times that I really do slug somebody for a, 10 seconds, maybe, is when I down somebody near a pallet and I can see the survivor gearing up for a pallet save or a, or a flashlight save. Then I'll go around, give him a smack on the ass, say, get the fuck out of here, I gotta pick this person up. That's the only time I'll do it. If somebody's crowding the area, be like, I'm gonna go for a sabo play, then I will smack them out of, smack them. I'll give them a smack on the booty. Right? That is the only time I'll slug. If they're being obnoxious and getting in my way, I'll give them a smack, and I won't pick the person up immediately. But most times, I just pick them up immediately, so I'm not, this isn't gonna really affect me that much. It's just not. So, that's where I'm coming from. I know it's going to affect a lot of people because slugging is a very big part of a strategy at the late game stages for killer. Right? You don't have anybody near death hook and there's two gens left. Well, slug one person, drop another one, hook one, and leave that other person slugged because now somebody has to get off a gen, go pick up the slug, and that other person has to get off that gen to go rescue the person off a hook. Nobody, everybody's doing something other than gens. Basically, that's the strategy, but now, for 45 seconds, that slug picks themselves up. And if it's an infinite pickup, it's a problem. If this is once per trial type of thing, like Unbreakable used to be now, as it is on live servers, then it's fine. If it's an infinite pickup, it's going to be a problem. The Mori offerings are changing because they have to. With the finishing Mori being triggered automatically when the last survivor is down, Memento Mori offerings no longer have any use and will not also receive an update. These offerings will now award a bounty of blood points based on the number of survivors killed if you earned a finishing Mori. These should have been different. Well, let's go over them, right? The Cypress Mori gain 8k blood points if at least two survivors are killed and the match ends in a finishing Mori. Ivory Mori gain 12k if at least three are killed. Ebony Mori gain 20k if at least four are killed. One, that is too, too low of blood points. If you're going out of your way to kill at least four people with a finishing Mori, um, and if you're going through the hassle of keeping everybody slugged if there's infinite pick, self pickups, 
You should be given a hundred K blood point offerings. Shit. That's just uh, not enough. Uh, they, I don't know, man. These, these offerings are like duty. They're poo-poo. They're poop. They, Cypress and Ivory should have been remained. Ebony should have been taken out of the game. Right? Ivory Mori, as it currently is in live servers, is, uh, you can Mori anybody who is on Deathhook. But you can only do it once a match. That's it. That's anybody. You can do it to anyone, but it's only one person, right? They should have changed this to, you can still do that. But if you use it early in the trial, or it's not the finishing Mori, the finishing Mori does not get the proc, right? So you can Mori that guy who's teabagging you at the pallet at five gens. But just remember, 3v1, yeah, you're not going to be able to slug two and get the finishing Mori. You actually have to put them on hooks. I think that would have been a good thing. Cypress Mori, I don't know, may, uh, just remove them all from the game. That's, that's where I'm at, just remove them all. Uh, much like the perk changes listed above, please keep in mind that the offering changes will not be released with the finishing Mori system, without the finishing Mori system. So yeah, the, they're not going to put these in the game without the new system, so... You don't have to worry about these being in the game, be like, well, what the fuck? Um... The finishing Mori system anti-slugging mechanic and other changes mentioned in this post will be available for testing during the next week's PTB. As a reminder, these new features will not be a part of the 6.3.0 update, which is the next chapter. This is an early preview that is not yet ready for release. We would like to gather your feedback early as we continue developing these features to make their eventual release as smooth as possible. Until next time, the DVD team. So give you give them your feedback. Be courteous. Do not be dicks. Do not threaten them. Give constructive criticism as I just did, right? I didn't attack anybody, didn't tell anybody to fucking harm themselves. I'm just saying, I need more info on this, these little things, is the big question, to wrap it all up, is it a one time per trial pickup, or is it infinite self pickups, because if it is that second thing that is wrong, it should only be once per trial, that way you don't completely screw over killers that rely on slugging because that's how they play. Oni is great at slugging. He gets his power, he goes bonk, 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 bonk. That's a 4k. That's just how he plays. If they can pick themselves up infinitely, he no longer plays like that. He needs a bit of a rework. Twins, the long rumored Twins rework might have to come sooner rather than later because of the finishing Mori update. Because that's how the Twins play. Effectively, you slug somebody, you injure everybody, and then you start slugging with Victor. Well, if you slug three of them, you have to go back to Charlotte in order to chase somebody down. But now, everybody picks themselves up in 22.5 seconds with the new Unbreakable. That's not good. Even if you're like, okay, I'm aware of this, so I'm going to down this person with Victor go back to Charlotte and go retrieve the body. Fuck, they've already picked up. If you follow Pixelbush on Twitter, you all know Boone Exponential was the bane of his existence. Sorry, is the bane of his existence because of how anti-twins it is. I, I don't know. There's a lot of things that will need to be fine-tuned and tweaked for this to be good when it comes out. Again, it's not coming out mid-October with the next chapter. They literally say it at the end of the thing, at the end of this post. It might not come out until February, maybe. It might not come out until the next anniversary. Hell, it might not come out ever. They might just scrap this. They've done it before where they've gone, hey, we're changing things like this, this, and this, and then, oops. Uh, we scrapped it and it just never happens do I think this will be the death of this game as everybody is saying no no it will not but time will tell right I don't know I don't know I'm, I'm indifferent to it because like I said I don't slug people and I hate being slugged but I even realize that this 
is a bit of a problem, especially this time is affected by recovery speed effects. Because I can almost guarantee Unbreakable probably won't be the only one that's increasing self-recovery speed. Uh, like, that's what that says to me. There's gonna be some other perk that affects the, the recovery speed. Which I don't think it should do. I think if you're gonna implement an anti-slug feature, well... If you're on the ground for 20 seconds, that's not being a slug, that's... The killer dropped you and is going harassing your friends because they're harassing the killer. That's not a slug. You're not a slug at that point. 45 seconds, yes, you're a slug. But not 22 seconds. That's just stupid. That's bad thinking. But that will do it for now. That's my thoughts. What are yours? Leave them in the basement below. And until next time, I will see you in the fog. Good luck. <laughs>